But now, having beaten the Austinville Dam, I've now been asked to come up here to help the next valley that's threatened, the Talabudra Valley. Here are all the people arriving at dusk to Gibson's shed for a protest meeting. I have just given it about half an hour, so... OK, let's have a look at that. Three people, and then each of them ring another three or something like that. They are very vulnerable. 
proteins in the course of research. And uh, I'd also like to encourage one other thing, which is we found ourselves in a situation where wolf feed had been stopped. And there was a certain mood in our valley, which was broadly speaking uh, among some people, not, not our valley, let's dump it on uh, Talabudger or back on wolf feed or something else. Now that's the NIMBY approach. NIMBY, N-I-M-B-Y, it stands for not in my backyard. And I think that if uh, the parents that you want to down this area, if they can divide all the valleys to fight against each other, it'll be a pushover. But if instead we see the bigger issues and fight together and cooperate with each other, I think we'll go much further. And I'd like to mention one or two of the bigger issues that I think are important. And I think uh, that it's worth understanding them rather than just picking on the government of the day. One of the issues is waste. Now, uh, figures that haven't come out yet are the fact that Brisbane has, in many areas, unmetered water. In other words, it doesn't matter how much you spill, you don't pay for it. And Brisbane consumes uh, 800 litres per person per day. Now, Trevor Conda said that the figure on the Gold Coast was 250. The figure I got for the Gold Coast was actually 450. But either way, there's a very big difference. And I think one of the first things about water planning is that waste must be stopped and Brisbane must be metered. And the meter rate has got to be a steep enough level that people think seriously before they waste their water. There's no reason why people shouldn't be given some kind of a rebate for having their own water tank, a rain tank. And I think if everybody in South East Queensland that has a house with a roof on it has their own rain tank, that would save several large shares. So I'll tell you the biggest issue, and uh, I uh, personally am not aligned to either of the political traditions, either Labour or, um, or the opposition at the moment. The biggest issue is growth. Now we're facing in uh, the Albert Shire the highest growth rate of any shire in Australia. It's uh, variously quoted 11.2% to 12.7% per year. Now that is not healthy growth, that is cancer, right? The Albert Shire has cancer. And although there are some people, probably in this room, who have been, and it's very destructive and very demanding of uh, other human resources, everything from schools, to hospitals, to roads, and the rest of it. It's one of the highest growth rates in the world, and that is what's causing the problem. Because unless that growth rate is uh, curtailed, we're not talking about whether or not Talabasha will be damned, we're talking about when it will be damned. Because if that continues, that sort of growth rate, then every valley on the Gulf Coast is going to end up being down in due course. And somehow, we've got to get these, uh, the right wingers and the left wingers to recognise that growth is not the holy cow that the old-fashioned ideals have said it, said it is, and we've got to find ways of checking it a bit. And, and I, I really wish you well, and if there's any way that MEPA or the uh, Conservation Foundation can help, we will do what we can.